It's red. It's red. Yes, that's good. All right, it's recording. All right, so up till this point, up to this point, guys, all I've been giving you are equations. Equations are expressions that have an equal sign somewhere in the middle, right? And if I give you one variable and one equation, you can always solve for that variable. Always. Right? Always. If I give you two variables and one equation, you can never solve for that equation, those variables. You can only solve pos for possibilities. But So you would need two equations to solve for two variables. Right now we're going to talk about one equation, one variables. Actually, we're actually going to change it, not an equation. An equation gives you an answer. An inequality. An equation gives you one answer. X equals 2, right? Or X equals 5, something, right? Now we're going to talk about inequalities, and inequalities have an infinite number of answers, all right? But it's very useful. We use these all the time in life. So what's the, what's the, re, what's the minimum age that you have to be to drive? 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15? In Santa Fe. Yeah, okay. Right Other states, um, it's 16. Okay. 16 sometimes. So how would you write that as an inequality? With math. Say X is all the people that are eligible for drive, being, being drivers. X, X, equals X equals 16. X equals 16. X plus X equals X. What? No. Just, just no. X X, X equals, equals y. is that you do? Is it just? But what if you're 17? You can't drive them. No, X equals so X you can drive. Well, X wait. Equals greater than oh, so X equals 16, 15, 16, or 17. No. But what or if I'm 22? Or or no, X equals. Wait, wait, wait. Right. But wait, what if I'm 64? I'm not. X. X no, plus X 15 plus, or above. So anything greater than 14. Yeah, anything greater than 15. So so I could say oh, greater, than, greater than 14. Everything greater than 14. Greater than 14 you have to drive like a person next to you. No, you can't drive. So this says this says you have to be 16. It says greater than 15. Greater than or equal to, right? Or equal, yeah. I'm assuming you guys have all seen these somewhere, yeah. right? Have yeah. you seen these yeah. these um so we're going to talk about this. So we're going to say this is less than, and this is greater than, right? Alligator. 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 And, and the way you kind of think about it, yeah, like you have the alligator mouth, the big mouth opening, that's the big side, the little point is the little side. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, but like it's it's basically going from left to right, right? So as I go left, the little side less than the big side. So this is less than because I'm going from left to right. I'm reading it. Little side is the point. For here is greater than because the bigger side is first. Bigger than the little. And right? also it's like bigger. a number line. Like if you go less, you go that way. Right. Like yeah, exactly. Now you can also say less than or equal to, right? And that is, you have to put that little line underneath. So less than or equal to. My guess is you all know this. Yeah. But I'm just saying it in case there's somebody who does not know this. And then greater than or equal to is that. Greater than or equal to. <laughs> right? So what we're going to talk about today is how to solve inequalities. You solve them almost identically to how you solve equations. But there is one special rule that I'm going to show you in just a second. First of all, we'll just we'll just do one that can be solved just like an equation, okay? So let's say I gave you this. Here's our first example. Um, say 2x plus 4 is greater than 10. All right. What would I do first? If it was an equation, what would I do? 
It's four. Minus four. Minus four. <laughs> so I'm going to just minus four. Totally. Is, is the greater than symbol like the equal sign? It's just like the equal sign, except that it means Two something X. different, right? Two it means oh, I'm going to have more. So all I'm doing is I'm just doing solving it almost as though the greater than sign is an equal sign, right? Does that make sense? And then I, so I have 2x is greater than 6. So you with me? Yeah. Divide by 2. Now I'm going to divide by 2, divide by 2. And then I get, don't stress out, I get x is greater than 3. Is that the answer? That's the answer. Oh my god, that's so that's awesome. Cool. Right? So that means, that means an, a solution to this, could a solution be 3? No. No. Could 3 be a solution? Jackson? No. Could 3 be a solution? No. No. It has nothing attached. X to has to be bigger than 3. 3 does not. Three is not bigger than 3. So, so 3 is not a solution. Is 2 a solution? No. No, because 2 is not bigger than 3. Is 4 a solution? No. Yes. no. Yes. 4 is bigger than 3. 4 is greater than 3. That's the solution. Three is 5? Is, is 5 a solution? Yes. yes. Is 10 a solution? Yes. yes. Is 100 a solution? Yes. yes. Is a billion a solution? Yes. Is no. a Google a solution? Yes. No, yes. Google is not a solution. Yes, it is. Google yes, is, it is a one with a hundred zeros. Oh. That's a lot of That's Wait, Gary. Google, like that's how you so it's called the Google Alexa. Yeah, one Google is is a is a one followed by a hundred zeros. Yeah, yeah. Oh my I mean, god, now I know what Google is. That's what it's like hundred writers and you don't have to make Let's try another one. Um, but Google isn't spelled with an E. It's G O O G L. No, I have no one. G O O G is the company Google. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Like how you actually write it. It's just Google. 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 All right, punch. Guys, listen up. So we'll try another one now. Just like in equations, exactly <laughs> like an equation, what do I have to get rid of? You get rid of the parentheses. Yeah. Get rid of the parentheses using my two discrete copy. Plus 16 is less than 20. Okay, now what? Then you take away the 16. Subtract 16. 2x is less than 4. We divide 2, divide by 2. x is less than 2. x is greater than 2. x is less than 2. Yeah, x is less than 2. All right, so is is um is five a solution to this one? No. Five is not less than two. Is zero a solution to this? Yes. 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 Is negative four a solution to this? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Awesome. So yeah, this is cool. Um. There's some more. Gary, Gary, is there ever one? Like, we have a lot of time. Is, so is there ever one that's like? As is definitely this. Like, not with it. That's a great question. Like with absolutely, absolutely positively, there's not no with, way. Not with it not all. with a not with a single variable, single thing like this. But if you had more, if I did a compound inequality, which is a different thing, it's a little different. So if you have like, but like, if, so you can't have something that's like two x plus four is greater than ten. And less than eleven. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, or no, less, less than, than twelve. Well, hang in there. Just hang that in there, because be I'm not gonna I'm not gonna answer that well, yet. Well, then there could technically still be like eleven point one, eleven point two, eleven point three, eleven point four, eleven point five. You can you can have compound inequalities, and that <laughs> that then, so like then yes. Real but we're not there yet. I'm not gonna okay. talk about that yet. So yeah. notice. As I've solved these, the greater than sign in this case stayed a greater than sign, stayed a greater than sign. Nothing changed, right? You guys screaming? Really? Notice over here, this was a less than sign. It stayed a less than, stayed a less than, stayed a less than. Wait, you did the less than. I wasn't the less than, but. Okay. So, yes, Isa. Guys? Oh, never mind. Why are you there? I don't know. We'll sit in your seat. Come on, I'm gonna. You do that again, and you're out. You're gonna, you guys are gonna game move. Okay, please honor the seats. Um, sorry, say that again. Can you so you sort of treat the less than and equal to sign like an equal sign until Ex you get to the end? Exactly. Exactly. However, there is an exception. Yes. Are we gonna be doing like 
equal to or greater than or equal to? Yeah, equal? I'll throw those in too. I could have done that here. I could have just put a line under those. It's fine. It, it's no different with that, with that than without it. So, but let me show you something. And this is a very important rule to understand. I was going to teach graphing on this too, but I'm not going to do that today. But this is very important. This is a rule that you have to be thinking about whenever you're solving an inequality expression, whatever, inequality. Um, this is the rule. If you, write this down, if you multiply or divide, is this going to be on the, okay, or divide both, both sides by a negative number, the inequality sign, inequality sign, flips. What's the rule? In my words. <laughs> okay, so let's try one. Let's say I had 6 minus 2x is equal to uh, 16. So write that down. 6 minus 2x equals 16. But that's not an inequality. Oh, right, sorry. So that, yeah. like, we'll say less than or equals 2. Less than or equal to. Right? Thank you. Um, what do I do first? You, you, oh. subtract you subtract six. I want the x's all by themselves, so the six is in the way. So I would subtract my six, right? Subtract my six. So these cross out, right? And I have negative 2x is less than or equal to 10. Now what would I do? Oh, so now, you, now you add. No, you don't. You divide now you divide by, by 2. Yeah, divide by negative 2. Negative two. Wait, what? The number that's in front of the x is what you divide by. I don't want to know what negative x is. If I just divided by two, I'd have negative x. I want to divide by negative two, so I have x. So I can say what x is, right? So I've got to divide by negative two, and I'm suddenly remembering some rule I vaguely recall writing down a few seconds ago. Right? There it is! Oh my god! Oh my god! If you multiply or divide, I'm dividing by both sides, both sides, by a oh negative number. So, this oh. is one of those cases, right? This is one of those cases. I'm dividing both sides by a negative number. So the negatives cross out. The twos cross it out. All I have left is x. This sign, though, has to flip. It's pointing to the left right now, and now it's got to point to the right. So it's greater than. What is 10 divided by negative 2? Negative 5. Negative 5. There we go. Now, the question is, why does it flip? Does anybody have any idea? Oh, because negative, because you switch the negatives. You switch which side the negatives are on. Because, like, uh, yeah, in a way, you're exactly. by, like, when, when the negative is over here. When, when you, divide, you add and subtract. When you add and subtract with inequalities, it doesn't affect a thing. The sign stays the same, the, the inequality sign. So look, let's say, let's say I went over here and resolve this, but I didn't use division. I used adding and subtracting. Because adding it's only when I multiply or divide that it flips the sign, right? Yeah. So watch this. I could always add 2x to both sides. You agree with me? Yeah. Add 2x to both sides. But then you'd have then to I have do 0 that. is less than or equal to 10 plus 2x. And then I could subtract 10 from both sides. Subtract 10. That's weird. And then I have negative 10 is less than or equal to 2x. Right? Okay. So. And then divide by 2, divide by I 2. I could divide by 2, divide by 2. And I got negative 5 is less than or equal to x. Oh. That's hard. Which is exactly the same answer. It's no, the it's same not. answer. Notice how the big mouth is facing the x. The big mouse is facing the x. These say the same thing. Oh my. I prefer I prefer to rewrite this now, though, as 
I put the x here, the big mouth towards the x, and then negative 5, because it's easier to read it, right? There's another reason for doing that, putting the x on the left. But this is the same thing. Had I not switched this, I wouldn't have had the same answer. I would have had a different answer. Does that make sense? So the key is you have to be thinking about that every time. One last problem, and then we're done. All right, so one why last do you example. Flip it, Gary? What? So why do you flip it? What does it do? Um, it's because you're multiplying or dividing. And if you add and subtract, you don't have to. But when we added and subtracted, we realized that was the right answer. This one has to be the same answer, therefore we right, have to flip like, it. Why? I don't have a good explanation. I figured it out, but I, my brain right now is going mush, and you're asking me a question, and I'm looking like a fool, and I don't know the answer. <laughs> okay, so there's my last problem. How many did I give you? One or two? You gave us three so far. What's this? this? Number four? four. Yeah. The fifth. Okay, no, it's four. It's four. Right. Oh, yeah. What if I have this? X over negative seven what? equal I'm not is less than or equal to ten. Oh, 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 I know, I know, uh, I know. I have to do something. What do I do? You times the numerator by seven, and then you times it ten by seven. By negative seven. Right? Negative seven. All right, so I'm going to multiply this times negative seven. Negative seven. Both sides by negative 7. I'll just do this. Negative 7. So the negatives cross out. The 7 crosses out. I have x. This was, I multiplied by a negative. This has to switch. It's pointing to, to the left. Now I'm going to point it to the right. And then 10, 10 times negative 7 is negative 7. Uh, Gary, if you had a I would could you just oh, like that? Say what? If you kept it the same, if you kept it the same direction, could you just write 70 without the negative 70? Well, then you would have negative x is, equal, is less than or equal to 7. Right, no, but if you kept... You so can't, if, can't get rid of the negative here unless you transfer it. You know what I mean? You're going to have a negative x over here. Unless. Right, but if you kept the greater uh, less than or equal to sign Is there fun? There, um, can't say you can't say x is greater is less than or equal to 70 because it it's greater than negative 70 it means it's going to go way above 70 it's going to be a million a billion a trillion a zillion, right. you see what I mean? so anyways that's it so the homework tonight on the homework just so you know wherever the heck it is it says to solve the inequality and also to draw in a graph a, a number line graph don't you, is everybody hearing me yeah. You do not have to draw the number line graph because I haven't taught that. All you have to do is solve the inequalities. That's the homework. Okay. <laughs>